Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. Talk to me. 
I understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead! Do you hear me? Dead! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... there was always something wrong. Then one day... he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... Scared. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. So I... grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And again. Until he collapsed. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before, he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't... fair. I felt... anger. Hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA-9. Only RA-9 can save us. RA-9. Who is RA-9? I'm done. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't 
touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! Okay. Calm now. Don't be difficult and only make things harder. No! No, don't touch me! Oh, Chris, you gotta move this asshole one. I'm trying, but it's not moving. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs>